This is a great science book about bugs. Bugs are insects. It's by Anne Rockwell and Stephen Jenkins drew the pictures. There are many kinds of insects living around us. Ants are insects. So are crickets and mosquitoes. So are butterflies and bees. Insects come in many shapes and sizes and colors. They don't all look alike, but there is a way to tell if something is an insect. Count its legs. Count how many body parts make up its body. Let's count the legs on this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And look at the body parts on this one. His head, his thorax, and his abdomen. One, two, three. Is a ladybug an insect? All insects have external skeletons. You have a hard skeleton inside with parts that move. Your skeleton helps hold you up and gives your body its shape. But an insect has a hard skeleton on the outside with parts that move. The skeleton is like a shell around its body. It holds the insect up and it gives its body its shape. A ladybug has an external skeleton. Does that mean it's an insect? Maybe not. All insects have in external skeletons, but not all animals with external skeletons are insects. Crabs, lobsters, shrimps, and scorpions all have external skeletons too, but they are not insects. Many insects have two pairs of wings and a pair of antennae. Sometimes the antennae are long, like those of crickets and butterflies. Sometimes they are short, like those of beetles. But all insect bodies are divided into three parts. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. There are six legs attached to the thorax. Anything that has six legs and three body parts is an insect. A ladybug has six legs and three parts. Is it an insect? Now look at the spider. Is it an insect? It has an external skeleton, but count its legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A spider has eight legs, not six. Its body is divided into two parts, not three. So it is not an insect. A spider is an arachnid. Scorpions and daddy long legs are arachnids too. Now that we know a ladybug is an insect, but is it really a bug? Sometimes we call insects bugs. Many people think that the two words mean the same thing, but they don't. A bug is an insect with a mouth like a beak and a head that forms a triangle. A stink bug isn't a bug. So is a bed bug. So is a water strider, even though it doesn't have the word bug in its name. But a ladybug's mouth doesn't look like a beak. Its head isn't shaped like a triangle. A ladybug isn't a bug at all. It's a beetle. Beetles are insects with a pair of hard wings you, can, you can't see through that hides a second pair of clear wings. The hard wings make a straight line down the top of its abdomen when they are closed. That's why the ladybug looks like it has a line down its back. Different kinds of insects have different kinds of mouths to suck, pierce, bite, or chew. A mosquito has a mouth that can pierce your skin and draw blood. A ladybug has a long curled up mouth, a mouth part for sucking nectar from flowers, just like you suck juice through a straw. Different kinds of insects have different kinds of legs as well. Crickets have long back legs for jumping. Water boatmen have wide flat legs for paddling. Bees have fuzzy legs that carry pollen from flower to flower, and grasshoppers have legs for making music.
Some insects are good builders. Ants build tunnels. Bees build honeycombs of wax that comes from their bodies. Wasps build paper nests. These insects live in large communities where each helps the others. No matter what they look like or how they live, all insects have six legs and three body parts. Here are some of the creatures you might find in your backyard. Are they insects? Insects are all around, flying through the air, chewing on the leaves, creeping through the grass. Scientists think there are more kinds of insects than there are kinds of fish or birds or any other animal in the world. Look for your own in your own backyard and see how many insects you can find and always remember to count their legs.